Hey y'all, gonna make a short video today about the Yamamoto milliamp meter that I installed in my 300 B amp. I've had a couple of people send me emails or make comments about it and asking, what is this? How does it work? Where do I get one? That sort of thing. Here's a little meter here. And this is a little uh, DPDT switch that allows me, it's a center off, and allows me to switch from one tube to the other tube. So you only need one meter to measure both tubes. And let me show you the size of this thing. The, the total bezel is 50 millimeters. So it's a nice size. Doesn't not too big, but it's also not some little super tiny thing. And I think this analog style fits a tube amp much better than a little digital one. The nice thing about this meter is it's not in series with the cathode of the tube. It uses the shunt type metering that uses the cathode resistor as the shunt resistor. And then this goes from the cathode to ground and is calibrated to the cathode resistor that you have in your amp. This is mainly designed for use with a cathode or self-biased amp, but you can use it with a fixed bias amp if you use a 10 to 12 ohm sense resistor which you can calculate by their formula which here is the schematic that shows how this thing is wired and here's the formula for calculating the resistor that you put in series with the meter to calibrate it to your setup so it's fairly easy to you know, set up and install. And I'm not sure if you guys know this, but you really don't want to put an in-series milliamp meter that's like full-time in the series with the cathode resistor because the windings of the meter itself can affect the sound of the amp. And obviously the way this one's made, when it's in the center position here, it's not connected to anything. And then you go from one tube to the other tube. If you do purchase one of these, I highly recommend you buy this little trim ring that's made specifically for this meter. From the I got mine through JAC Music in Germany. And I believe this meter was about $100 which isn't a trivial cost, but when you're using expensive tubes like these 300Bs, uh, you know, on sale, a pair of these was over $200. It does make sense to monitor your current going through them to make sure that there's nothing going on that's gonna damage your tubes. So I'm gonna flip the amp over and show you on the other side how this thing's wired up. So we have the amplifier flipped over, and here's the meter. It doesn't require any power connections. It's powered up off of the voltage at the cathode of the tube. So this is the negative. You want to bring it over and connect it to a good ground, which on this amp is right here between these two filter capacitors, and it has its own ground that goes over here to the star ground. So this is a nice ground point. Here are the resistors that I put in series and put heat shrink over to get the resistance needed to calibrate the meter to this amplifier. And again, you can go through these calculations and using your cathode resistor and the full scale current on your meter 
then you can calculate up what the total resistance needs to be. And it's probably going to be a fairly oddball number that you're not going to be able to find a single resistor to make up that resistance. So you can put together a string of resistors to come up with the exact resistance you need. So that resistor is hooked up to the center pin of, I mean, this is a DPDT switch, but an SPDT would work because you only need a single pole. You don't need double pole, but you need a double throw center off switch. So you connect the resistor up to the center of the switch, and then you run a wire from each side of the switch over to where the cathode resistor connects. And this is your the bias. And because of this resistor, when it's reading this bias voltage, the meter calculates up what the milliamp current is that's running through the tube. And really that's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple thing to implement and I think it makes the amp look really classy. And again, it's, it's a pretty simple thing to install. So anyway, I hope that answers the questions about this meter. Again, I will uh, got it from JAC Music. I'll link it in the description. And I hope that clears up your questions about the little meter that's on my amp. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you soon for more tube amplifier fun. Have a nice day.